Hi, I'm Dr. Seema Sharma and I'm Founder Director of Srishti Femcare. Today I will be talking about how to take your folic acid supplements uh, because this is a very very common supplement being prescribed to pregnant women and all those women who uh, want to be pregnant. So the protocol is uh, that anybody, any woman who wishes to get pregnant should start folic acid supplements uh, by mouth and this should be started two months before she wants to get pregnant. So suppose now you are planning to uh, start your efforts to get pregnant, you should start your folic acid supplements and these supplements need to be continued till uh, three months into your pregnancy or till you are 12 weeks into your pregnancy. So uh, a lot of times there are questions how should we taking how should we be taking them should we take it morning evening so well the answer is uh, folic acid is is a part of uh, um, a B complex group of uh, vitamins and our body cannot manufacture uh, this folic acid which is also called as vitamin B9 uh, we can't manufacture this folic acid inside our body. So we need to take it either in our diet or as supplements. Uh, we essentially should be taking one tablet every day. Uh, you can take it morning or evening depending on your schedule. Whatever you find more convenient, there is no problem in the absorption depending on the uh, day of, uh, depending on the time of the day. Uh, you need to take it, uh, you should be taking it approximately the same time um, every day. Uh, and it is recommended you just take it with water because uh, you know try and avoid it avoid taking tea or coffee with it and there is no need to take it with milk uh, also because it doesn't really affect the absorption of folic acid uh, similarly you can have it with meal you can have it empty stomach whatever suits your body you can just do that medically there is no problem with any um, so important thing is that you take one tablet every day and you take it till 12 weeks of your pregnancy uh, after that usually there is no need to continue it and people will not advise you to continue it unless you have specific conditions like a folate deficiency or a certain kind of anemias that you might have in, in those situations you uh, might be asked to continue uh, the folic acid um, another thing is that a lot of uh, Indian population has this genetic mutation uh, which we call as the NTFHR mutation because of which the folic acid is uh, is not absorbed in our system well uh, in the sense that the normal folic acid which is available in the market it is body cannot utilize it so it is equivalent to not taking it at all um, so now a newer folic acid has uh, come into the market which we call as a methyl folate which is the active form of folic acid in certain certain subset of uh, people are asked to take methyl folate. Uh, these are the people who have had recurrent uh, miscarriages or who have had issues with their previous pregnancies or have had issues with their previous babies. You know, they've had spinal defects or uh, brain defects. Uh, so for this subset, it is better to, to uh, take this activated folic acid by the name of methyl folate. The, the instructions for taking remain the same. Take it any time of the day. Take it with meal, without meal, there is no problem. But take it the same time every day so you maintain a 24-hour gap. So well, that's all for now. Thank you so much. Stay safe.